one other thing I thought was interesting and wanted to run by y'all because we discussed it um, last night, went through our Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series, who was going to do what in 2024. Did y'all see the interesting addition today to the roster yeah. for 2024? Yeah. Brendan Smith? Was he an addition to the roster? Yeah, he what? is an addition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, that is an interesting one. That, that bunch always <laughs> makes things interesting. I love when we park by them. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, something they're cool something people. always happens. <laughs> does. Well, I wasn't they're, talking they're, about that. I was just talking about the cool. stories. They're good yeah. people. They are cool. They, they like hanging out with those guys. They're all right. They're uh, racers. No, I yeah, talking, I seen your addition. I see yeah, it. Mike Marler. There's one that stands out. That's the one I'm yeah. thinking of. Winfield Warrior. Out. Mike Marler is going to run uh, the entire series. Was there anyone else that we missed? I feel like there was uh, someone else. There was, a rookie there was someone that else. I, I was unaware. Like kind of. Oh, they said Ethan Dotson. Ethan was, Dotson. But he didn't take. A but then he didn't take a provisional yeah, or something. Or nor did Spencer Hughes or Tanner English, who are all three. I, I, we got to realize that a lot of these guys are. Yeah, we'll run it if things go well and we feel like we have a shot at running well on the series. But, you know, when you have a lot of those guys miss the show and not take an emergency provisional tonight, kind of tells you, kind of, which I don't know how, you only count so many of your Speed Weeks races. I don't really know how that, that works. Maybe that plays into it, factors into it. But, yeah, a lot, I think a lot of these guys, I mean, Ethan Dotson also said he's running Outlaws at Volusia, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, started off pretty well there. So, you're, you're yes, and you're kind of hedging your bets is what you're doing until the first conflicting date in March. Is yeah. what these guys, yeah. a lot of these guys are doing, and you're also like they're really there's, you know, they could just not run any any of the tour tours if they don't feel like they're at a level to compete nationally or that it's worth it, All right? So, um, not saying Mike Marler won't run the whole thing, but I, you know, I we'll, we'll see. You know, it's kind of kind of has see he how ever he run the Lucas Oil? I don't. He's, he's won Outlaws, right? right in Eighteen, you know, eight, yeah, but I don't know that he's ever run the full uh, Lucas tour. A good question. Yeah. I, I I just glanced at Chad's. Uh, Brian Shirley was he one of the ones that also? Oh, yeah, he was. Did he was that for Lucas Oil? Something, yeah. Joseph. I want you might have missed since you didn't watch the heat races, but this will make you oh, feel a little better this, ab about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know where I'm going with this. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> Brian Shirley would have been on outside pole of a heat race, yep. but um, this is scales. He, he forgot to go went. to the scales or <laughs> never went to the scales. It's easy to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hate that for him. I hate that for him because I hated it for me. <laughs> okay, to Marler, I wanted to get y'all's opinion on Marler and how, where does, does he change your top four? I, I, I would potentially say there's a good chance that he mm -hmm. changed. If he's, okay, we make, we do this tomorrow or yesterday uh, when we were sitting here making our predictions and Marler's in the mix when we do that. I guarantee one of us four will have him in our top four at yeah. least. You know what I mean? Um, he, he certainly th uh, shakes things up. He's a contender, uh, to win uh to win the whole the whole deal. Um, and he's certainly a contender at a top four here. Yeah. Um. So I I'm not trying to throw any shade at anybody, but I T Mac. Do y'all feel like he didn't look not, good tonight? He's not clicking. He like, didn't look good tonight. Like I was explaining to Jonathan earlier, like I, I just feel like McCready is one of them Longhorn guys that you just kind of have a little bit of high expectations for to have that dig, and he just isn't clicking, and he just ain't got the dig that that I expect out of him. Like I don't know if they're struggling or like or what. Like that, was he this way last year at the end of last year? And I, I just feel like he ain't got what he needs right now. Like he's struggling a little bit. I think I would put uh, Marler in. Mm -hmm. I, I feel I, like I would if, too. That's if Marler exactly would have been in the list, I would have had him in fourth instead of McCready last I, I night when we that. went through our top four. Me I really too. do. Uh, but to, that being said, Marler didn't look splendid yeah. tonight either, right. you know. No, he um, didn't. But he did finish uh, 16th, whereas McCready finished, uh, I almost said 39th, 20th. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so really, what's the big difference there? Though? I don't. I'm, I'm just <laughs> just pointing it out. Was all. Just what it about sixteenth? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just saying he he, he didn't yeah, have a great yeah. night, but he did beat yeah. McCready, who I was kind of right. saying I would replace McCready with Marler, uh, Marler in my rundown. What about Davenport running as as well as he did and looking as good as he did? Does it change our uh, 
thought, you know, are we second guessing that not having him in our top 10? Because we're not, I think him if around. there's a place Davenport can shine, it's right here at yeah. Golden Knight. And, and, and the and other then, driver, the, weeks, the yeah, other Overton driver, too. I would say, is Overton. Yeah. They're supposed yeah. to yeah. run run well uh, I, I, in I Georgia. Would say, I would say of all the Speed Weeks uh, scheduling and every, everywhere they go, this is two play. This is the place I would expect Davenport and Overton to show out. Not saying they can't go to Ocala and All Tech and East Bay and Volusia and continue. I'm just saying you kind of expect it here. Yeah. Well, and remember, you know, last year uh, Overton comes out and wins two out of three at Gold Niles, and then by the middle of East Bay, everyone's like, "Man, he's having a bad speed weeks." You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, right. You know, yeah. you forget he had won. You know, started That's what by winning two out of three. So much about dirt racing. <laughs> It, it, that is the worst freaking part. Yeah, is if <laughs> yeah, it's, you it's, win and then run this bad and this and, da- and this up and down. And it does. It, I mean, as a, give it about three more hours, and it doesn't matter what Hudson O'Neill did tonight. <laughs> no, it'll be it'll be I'm all over tomorrow you. morning on yeah, social yeah. media. But by just the time give it that, a minute, it won't yeah. even matter. <laughs> mm. I, I do know what I, you mean. I, I, for one, you know, we talked about last night, and that was some the, the two guys I was looking forward to seeing how they did, you know, coming out back out the gate, not having a fantastic last year. I mean, I, I agree with Joseph. Like, these are their tracks. These are Georgia tracks. They're Georgia boys. They, they need to shine in their own state. But I'm glad to see them, you know, come out and be competing for a win, you know, after kind of a not, you know, great, you know, down year by year. their well, standards. Yeah, because if, they're, if they don't – Right yeah. here, what does that, that say? Really, you know, mm-hmm. that's that's bad news. Like yeah. if they if they aren't up front and competing right here, or at least uh, have a good reason not to, like if something you know something hampers them, if they're in, you know, they had they need to be competing right yeah. here. Well, um, I'm glad that they were. That's all I'm, I'm glad, saying. No doubt. See it. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, <laughs> I wish them nothing but the best. <laughs> it's good to have them up front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's good to have them up front. 